for, for the reaction to be working, you need to, everything is working in the a crash environment, okay, in the liquid. So you need the water, PCR buffer, magnesium chloride, nucleotides. So these are the A, T, C, G. But it's not the sequence, but just the building block, nucleotides. So you have A, T, C, G. Okay? <coughs> DNA poly polymerase, primer. So it's a short fragment of the DNA sequence. Okay? And DNA template. So these are the seven ingredients you have to remember. <clears throat> of course, the reason you want to include all these seven ingredients because each of them, they have a function in the PCR. The DNA template, so it's a template where you start to multiply the first fragment, so it's your DNA extract. So there are different functions, so for water, so I'm not just going to give you the short summary, then you should read a little bit more. So the water is to provide an aqueous medium it's a medium for the things to mix together. If you don't, everything is not in the water, how the things work, how the, how the molecular and ion move, move around. Okay, so you need the water. Then you have the PCR buffer. So this PCR buffer usually is made by the manufacturer. In the past, you have to do it yourself. Now it's, you can just buy it. So they, they contain trees, uh, HCL, KCL. Okay, so the the main purpose for this, the main function of the PCR buffer is to optimize the PCR reaction, to, give, to provide the optimum, uh, optimal condition. So when a reaction starts to happen, for example, you have the template and the polymerase at least start to get a, a nucleotide to attach to the template and start to extend, make it a bit longer, try to duplicate the fragment. It's a chemistry process, right? You know when it is a chemistry process, then there are a lot of the things that... So for example, you have something plus something that equal to something left over something, right? So those left over something is those things that you don't want, right? So this is why you need the buffer reaction to buffer it. Okay? So when the extension happens, the release of the, a lot of the hydrogen, which will change the pH of the whole reaction. So the buffer, the function of the buffer is to try to uh, new, neutralize the condition okay, in the reaction. So it's to buffer the pH. Okay. And you have the magnesium chloride, so this acts as a cofactor. So you, you learn in your biology, for enzyme to work, you need the optimum temperature, you also need a cofactor, right? Okay, what we call the catalyze. Okay, so th those are these are the this, the function of the magnesium chloride, just similar to that, because the tag polymerase, the DNA polymerase is an enzyme. <laughs> then you have the DNDPs. So these are the basic building blocks blocks for your DNA. So there's the ATCG. Okay. You have the tag polymerase. So the polymerase that you use for the PCR is very different from the human polymerase. This tag polymerase, so this polymerase is extracted from the bacteria. So this is the name of the bacteria. This one. And this bacteria, they live in the hot spring. Okay. So that means that all the enzymes in their body okay, can stand a very high temperature. Okay, will not destroy. Okay. For example, if you use your polymerase in your cell, the optimum temperature is 37 degrees Celsius, right? Okay. You cannot use it for the PCR outside of your cell in the lab. Because for the PCR, the first step you have to do is to, if you have a double helix, you have to separate them. Okay. To separate them, the temperature you need to set is 95 degrees Celsius at least. So if you use a human polymerase in the, rea in the reaction, just during the denaturation, the enzyme has been destroyed. Okay. So there's no way they can start to duplicate your DNA. Okay, so that's the reason why they use the tag from the bacteria, from a bacteria. Okay. So the function is to generate a new DNA sequence okay, from your template. Later I'm going to show you a diagram quickly. Then you have the primer. Oh, we're almost done. This is number six, I think. So it's a pair pay of the short uh, single strand of DNA. It's not double helix, it's just a short thing. 
So in the DNA, you have the double helix. You have double helix. You have a two strand. You have two strand. So this is your DNA. So you only want to get this re region, right? Then you need the statin, okay? The DNA template to attach in both strands. Okay. Then they know where they need to start. Okay, you need a pair of the primers. Okay. The primer usually the length is between 15 to 25. Okay? And this primer sequence need to be complement to the sequence on the template. Okay? So this is also what we call the oligonucleotides. So the, the main purpose is to amplify the target region. And they synthesize DNA in from 5', five prime to T3'. Okay. So the last thing is, after you have the 6 indigent, you need also need to put your template, OK? Your DNA template. So what you need to do, let's say if you extract a DNA from three different samples, three different tissue, after you extract a DNA, then you have three extraction, right? OK? Then after that, you have to prepare three Indigrant. Okay, put all those six indigrant that I showed you just now. Okay, H2O, PCR buffer, primers, magnesium chloride, po uh, TET polymerase, and also okay, DNDP. Just prepare in the right amount. So there's a recipe, just follow how much you need to put in. Three tube. After that, transfer each of the sample to each of the tube. Okay, after that, then you can start to do the PCR.